Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of Easter, which was April 3rd through the 9th. And for this week, I'm going to be using this kit called Happy Easter from Caress Press. This is glossy paper, full kit format. You guys know the deal. I just love the bright colors in this kit and this art is stunning. So really excited to put it to use. So this is what the kit looks like. And then of course we got some extras and some add-ons and whatnot. So I picked up the 15 millimeter washi of course. I got this fashion tall box and then this was the freebie that came with the kit. I also have these doodles from Scribble Prince Co. I realized I didn't have like anything Easter related in my doodle collection. So I was like, I need to pick these up and stick them with the kit. So that is what we're doing. And then for foil, I'm just going silver. I don't know what else to use, honestly. So this is what we're going with. I picked up some stuff from Alicia Craft in her Easter collection. So I got the hole protectors and the tall box overlays. And then I also got the full foil bundle. So we have a eight full box sheet. We have the underlays, which look like this. I think they're so cute. Love that design. And then we have the headers, a couple quotes and the bottom washi sheet. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start putting down the base of the spread and I'll be right back. Okay, up until like five minutes ago, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to talk about while putting down the base for the spread, but it is bright and early Monday morning, the day that this video is going up because you guys know I'm always like super last minute when it comes to recording voiceovers and I just watched SPC's new releases video and I have to talk about the exclusive art set that is coming out because I am obsessed with it. Firstly, we finally got a reformat of that like road trip mystery kit, which I think it came out originally in like 2020 and I was obsessed with it, but it came out during like my planner hiatus. So I never got it, never used it, and I'm really excited that that is getting reformatted because I love that kit. You guys, if you guys know me, you know that's very much my aesthetic. So I love road trips, I love the outdoors, and I'm obsessed with that kit. So very excited about that reformat. But we got an exclusive art set coming this Wednesday that I am so excited about, and I hope that Andrea does more kits like this. Because you guys know me, I am a zoologist. I have my bachelor's degree in zoology. I love animals. I've always wanted to work with animals my entire life. I do wildlife photography as a hobby. And this kit is a shark kit. And I am just dying over it. It is perfection. It's very niche. I'm sure there's not going to be a whole lot of people that love it. But for me, it is absolute perfection. And like I said, I hope she does more kits like this because I will buy 20 of each kit if it means that she keeps doing them, honestly. So my first thought when I saw this kit was to use it for Shark Week, um, which is usually like the second or third week of July every year. However, this year we also have the release of that new Barbie movie, which is going to be coming out around the same time as Shark Week. So my priority is going to go to the Barbie movie because I have a kit specifically for that. We only get the premiere of the Barbie movie one time, which Shark Week happens every single year. So if the two weeks, if Shark Week and the release of Barbie end up being on the same week, I'll hang on to the shark kit either for next Shark Week or... You guys know I recently got my, if you've been around since last summer, I recently got my scuba diving certification. So I hope to go on many scuba diving trips, but I, one of my top, top, top goals is to go cage diving with great whites. And that kit would be absolutely perfect for that. So We'll see. If I can get a trip planned out within like the next couple of years for that, I'll save the kit for that. But if not, I'll use it for Shark Week next year. If, like I said, Barbie and Shark Week line up. But we'll see how that happens. But I'm like so excited about that kit. Um, yeah, I just had to say. But let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I think it's a pretty niche kit. But I'm really interested in knowing you guys' thoughts. I feel like sharks 
are one of the most like popular loved animals out there so I feel like a lot of people are going to like it um so yeah especially because we have shark week like we have an entire week dedicated to sharks on discovery every single year um so I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are really hyped about it I'm certainly am obviously um but let's see in other planner news this week the week of easter Glam Planner made her, like, triumphant return to the Planner community, and she had a glitch sale, which I have been wanting a glitch sale from Glam Planner for forever because there were so many 2022 mystery kits that I just needed to get my hands on. I think she had a glitch sale for, like, Black Friday or something, but she just did not have all of the 2022 mysteries that I wanted available, so I just didn't end up placing an order during Black Friday. I think it was Black Friday. I could be wrong. Um, but this glitch sale, she had every single 2022 mystery kit I wanted and then some. But I ended up, my cart was like ridiculous. I was loading my cart before the sale and it was well over $200. So I ended up getting rid of some things, um, but it was still like right at 200 when the sale started. But thankfully, the first like hour was like a 50% off like flash sale. So I got everything. I got eight kits for like 100 bucks, which is fantastic. So I'm really excited uh, that Glam Planner is back. She just had this past weekend um, new releases, actually yesterday after this video goes up. And I did get a few things, so I am excited to have her back in the planner community. I hope it sticks because, and I totally get it, health issues, all that stuff, like it all comes, like that's priority, but I've missed her kits, especially her exclusive art, because I feel like Glam Planner was always, up until like Pink Diamond Planner Co. like came into like the game, I feel like Glam Planner was the shop that like experimented and like took more risks when it came to her like exclusive artwork I feel like she didn't she never cared if it was like a popular theme or it was going to be like super out of the box she just did it so I always have been a huge fan of Glam Planner because of that so let me know if you guys shopped the glitch sale or the new releases and what you picked up I do have a haul coming up Friday look at me super excited it's been a while since I've done a haul so You'll see all that stuff on Friday, so super exciting. But anyways, let's get in to this week. So Monday, I don't have the dates up at the top because I'm waiting to haul some things from Alicia Craft so I can pull out some like days of the week stickers and stuff to put up top. So I don't remember what day this was, but Monday I started off by going to Dutch Bros and then I headed off to the library. When I had my car, I went to the library every single Monday and like return books and pick up holds and all that fun stuff so went to the library then I got Taco Bell for lunch because I've had a craving and there's a Taco Bell right by the library so we took advantage of that and then I came home and did some binge watching I continued on with my Scandal rewatch I think once I'm done with Scandal I'm either going to rewatch Euphoria and House of the Dragon or lost. I've also really been like in the mood to rewatch The Vampire Diaries, but I took it off of Netflix and I think it's only available on HBO and I'm like trying to like be good and like not I'm the type of person that will like resubscribe to like streaming services for like a specific show and then like as soon as I'm done with it, I'll cancel it. So that's what happened with HBO. I resubscribed for The Last of Us and then I canceled it after The Last of Us finished and now I'm like over here wanting to spend another $10 a month so I can rewatch like my favorite shows. So yeah, we'll see where that goes. And then I finished a book this day and I stayed up late doing so. So that was it for Monday. Moving on to Tuesday now, I marked in that I was up early. I think my dad had left the house and when he leaves the house, the dogs just get extra loud. So all the dogs were barking nonstop all morning, so I was up like at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, so that was exciting, which used to not be early for me. You guys know, like if you've been around for a while, you know that I used to like get up, I don't know, between 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning every morning because of Figaro, but since being in my parents' house, I'm actually getting sleep, and I'm able to sleep in a little bit, so 7 o'clock is quite early for me now, so 
Anyways, I started a new book this day, and then I spent a couple hours reading that, and then I took a nap, and then we had, this is the day we had, like, the incident with Winnie, so I put, like, what the fuck happened, and I marked that I was stressed, and I FaceTimed my sister so she could, like, calm me down a little bit. Update on Winnie, though, um, I talked, um, when I went to, I picked up my dog's, my parents' dog's meds, I want to say the Friday of this week, and, um, the vet ended up doing some more research on seizure-friendly anxiety meds, and we actually found some that we're going to try out on her, and I actually just remembered I was supposed to give that with her breakfast this morning, and I forgot, so we'll try again tomorrow, <laughs> um, but I'm excited to potentially have some meds that are going to work for her and not mess with her seizures, and I'm really sorry if you can hear my parents' dogs barking in the background because... That seems to be all that they do. But anyways, moving on to Wednesday. The very first thing I marked down was that we had thunderstorms here. This was just like a very dreary, wet week, honestly. Um, So we had thunderstorms, and then I marked down that it was a cleaning day. So I did all the things, and I did laundry because Wednesday is my laundry day. Like, I swear, Wednesday is the only day that my parents are not doing laundry, so I had to take advantage of that. And then I called the vet this day. This is when I informed them of Winnie's issues, and I wanted to get meds for her and stuff, but yeah. Anyways, and then I filmed a video Wednesday evening, and then I hopped on to YouTube and joined some reading sprints. I love reading sprints, honestly. I feel like I get so much done when I or so much reading done when I follow along reading sprints because I feel like I'm only focused on that and I don't like I'm not constantly looking at my phone or looking stuff up on my computer and stuff so definitely like joining reading sprints whenever I get the opportunity but anyways on to Thursday first thing rainy day again of course and then I went to pick up Bay's meds and then this is when the vet saw me and stopped me and told me about Winnie's medication so we ordered those um because unfortunately they're not meds that the vet themselves carries they have to be ordered and now Winnie's barking what is happening oh my goodness I'm going to try to edit this out, but if not, you guys are just going to have to deal with the parking in the background because I don't want to stop this voiceover. So, picked up meds, went on a grocery run, and then I came home, laid down the base to my next spread, I did a voiceover, did some reading, and then went to bed early. Can you hear them howling? I am so sorry. They always get to doing this. Like, if they see people, it's mainly Penelope and Oliver that do this. If they see anybody walking by, they immediately start barking. And then they get, like, the entire household into, like, a howling fit. And there's currently six dogs in this house. So, it gets quite loud. Of course, the old ladies don't do anything. So, it's really just four of them that we have to worry about with the barking. But, still, my goodness. And now they stopped. Okay, continuing on to Friday. So the first thing for Friday, I printed off some labels for some stuff that I had de-stashed earlier in the week that I needed to drop off. I uploaded a plan with me and then I marked down that my sister was home. So yeah, super exciting whenever she's home. Um, and then I went to the post office and then me and my sister went to McAllister's to get lunch together and then I came home and watched Station 19 and then I stayed up finishing my book. How fun. Now on to Saturday, me and my sister again got Dutch Bros in the morning and then I came home and watched Grey's Anatomy and then I did have to vacuum the entire house before my mother had like a stroke when she came home from work. So I vacuumed and then I took advantage of Glam Panners glitch sale this evening and then we got Chick-fil-A for dinner. I'm not proud of it, but like I swear to God, every time my sister's in town, we like eat out for every single meal. It is not healthy. It is not good, but like what can I say? Like, I feel like the only time my sister will hang out with me is if we're getting food. Otherwise, she's just with her boyfriend or her friends or stuff. So, um, I'll take any time I can spend with her. So, yeah, I did that. And then we went shopping. Her 
me, my mom, and my sister, we went shopping together. I don't remember where we went, but yeah. Anyways, and then Sunday was Easter. Actually, no. This is the week that my sister stole my vehicle and, like, wouldn't give it back. So I went shopping with my mom. And that's it, because my sister took my car and left. Um, and then Sunday was Easter, so we pulled stickers for a new spread, and then we went to Ulta, because that was, like, the only thing that was open, and we were bored, so we went to Ulta, and we got McDonald's for lunch this day. And then, unfortunately, Sunday we had to have a very serious conversation about Bay and her future <laughs> um Bay has been struggling she's on like a new concoction of meds so we're trying to give her a few weeks and see if they help her or not you guys know I talked about it before Bay is my parents oldest dog um we've had her since we lived in Austin and we have not lived in Austin in over a decade um so she is quite old and she's arthritic and she has a hard time getting around she's constantly falling down so she's on a new concoction of meds pain medication and anti-inflammatories and um we're just we had the discussion of potentially putting her to sleep towards the end of the month beginning of May just to like I just feel I hate just watching her walk around because I feel so bad for her and I would much rather put a dog to sleep you know a day early than like a day late you know so I don't know I'm trying to convince my parents that it's like time but they're having a hard time with it um and my sister's going to be back in town to return her rental and give me my car back towards the end of the month beginning of next so I'm kind of thinking that that's probably when we're gonna want to do it but it sucks so um yeah it's just it's one of the things it just sucks being a pet owner because they don't live as long as you want them to and it's just like so sad we haven't had to put a pet down in six years and the last pet we put down was like our first family dog and that like put me in like a state of depression for like months so I'm not looking forward to it but I know it's for the best but anyways um after our talk um I filmed and started a new book Sunday night but anyways that is it for this plan with me I hope you guys enjoyed um, as always, I'll have all the shops featured linked in the description box down below, as well as any coupon codes or referral links I have for them. As always, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!